Hello everyone, Lock Garden and Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And if you didn't see the last video, Casper just ate walnuts on me, so I have walnuts like all over me. Um, in this video here, I can't see. So in this video here, you got walnuts in my hair. In this video here, I want to talk about the thermo perch. This thing is huge. So I got this thing. If you didn't see my previous video, um, you don't like me having this? Okay, I'm going to put it over here. There you go. Happy now? Happy now? You be nasty for you on my lips. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. All right, so enough of that. So if you didn't see my previous video, the previous video was on keeping your parents warm in the winter time. This is my first time trying the thermo per perch. I feel like I really, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> you're running away from, okay. I feel like I really didn't need it in the past because I always live in like a flat level. Always, I'm sorry. I always lived in like a flat level home, so the heat was pretty much the same all over the house. <laughs> right now, the heat isn't the same. Right now, um, my parents are downstairs. Now, it is a lot colder downstairs than it is upstairs because heat rises. So, it always stays, I try to keep it 65, 60, 60 to 65 degrees or more, which they would do well in five degrees i mean 50 degrees or more but i try to keep it around 60 or more like right now it is downstairs it is 63 degrees downstairs and so that's pretty good i'd rather it be 65 so i'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit but i got this for casper and as you can see it is huge it is i got it from chewy it is um the um k and h um pet products and you can get this from their website, www.khmfg.com. But I did get a, it was cheaper on Chewy. I don't know why, but it was a lot cheaper on Chewy. And Chewy has a really good sale going on right now. So go check out Chewy. Chewy, y'all need to give me some money. But I'm just going to go ahead and put this together and plug this up. Not really sure how I feel about the cord. Um, He loves to chew up cords. So I'm probably going to have to tape it down some kind of way where he can't. Because he would reach out of his cage. I know you don't like this. Why? Oh, my God. He would reach out of his cage and pull a cord into his cage and chew it up. So, um, I'm really... It does have a um, some protection outside of the... On the um, cord itself. This is really, really hard. So, it does have protection. But I have a cockatoo. He can crack open a walnut. I know he can crack this open. So I'm probably going to tape it with some electrical tape. All right, so let me get this plugged up and I'll be back with you guys. Going to try to get him used to it a little first because he didn't like it. See, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Hi, baby. It's okay. You want to stand on it? You want to stand on it? It's okay. Look. See? It's not going to hurt you. Yeah, it's not going to hurt you. Hi, baby. And it says that it takes an hour to warm up. And don't start freaking out about his cage. I have another video that I'm going to be doing for you guys. It is going to be um, his, I'm redoing their cages. So I took all the toys out and I'm going to be cleaning out the cages and redoing the cages tomorrow. So I took everything out except for his little thing that he is attached to, but I have him a new one. And he probably won't let me take that one out. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting the perch, it's really, really big. I don't know how I'm going to, exactly how I'm going to do this because the perch is so darn big and but this is the area where he sleeps he likes to sleep right in front of the door 
So what I'm going to do, you're in the way of my camera, Casper. So what I'm going to do is just with some electrical tape is take this cord down because Casper will chew this cord. So he's really smart, but if I can disguise it and make it look like a part of the cage, then maybe he'll leave it alone. So I'm gonna continue to tape this down and I'll be back. So the perch has heated up and he does seem to be enjoying the perch. Um, he's on there, he hasn't moved, he is um, printing himself. So I think that he enjoys it. It was a good choice, I believe. You like it, Casper? You like it? And you're reaching out for the phone. You want the phone? Sorry. So um, I think he's reaching out for the phone. You can't get my phone, babe. He's so funny. But I think it was a good um, purchase. And I did tape down the cord to the cage. I'm really, really worried about this cord because as you can see how he reaches out for things. And he'll just reach out and grab stuff and drag it into his cage. So that is the only thing that I'm worried about. And as you can see, he's already chewing on the tape that I have on this cord. So he found a little piece of one of the toys he shredded. So he's playing with that right now, hiding it in his feathers. But yeah, I think it was a good buy. I would recommend it. I'm going to see how it does with this cord here. I'm still really worried about this cord. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. And as usual, toodaloo. Bye-bye.